here. I have been up all night. It is now 7 in the morning. I have been staying up till 5 in the morning and having ridiculous sleeping schedules. So I'm actually going to try to stay up all day so I can go to bed when I'm supposed to. You know, human time. <laughs> so I can actually function as a human being. Because of this, and being a little tired, I randomly decided to put on, you know, makeup and feel a little sassy. These are my fairy wing earrings from my mummy for Christmas. Anyway, so yeah, I haven't gone to bed. I'm just feeling sassy. <laughs> my nose itches. This nose ring tickles so much. Anyway, so I wanted to talk today about anger triggers and agitation triggers and anything that kind of makes you upset. I have been experiencing a lot of agitation recently um, through the online pathways. Um, I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of things coming up for me and I'm just getting really agitated at them. And it's not really like me to have that problem. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So I was thinking about what that means. Ooh, that is good. Anything that triggers you is the universe slash your body telling you what needs to be looked at and healed. Anything. If it agitates you, it's bringing something up to the surf surface that has a past wound involved. It's really important that when we start to get upset about something, that we acknowledge, we acknowledge that we are upset and that it's a red flag for healing. So often when we get upset, we go into reactionary mode and that just causes trouble, as most of us know. Um, something I heard recently, which I thought was really cool, was upset. If you reverse it, it's set up. It's the universe setting you up for healing. Like, remember that. So when you're in an upset, it's important to acknowledge your feelings. Say, okay, this is a trigger for me. It's okay that this is a trigger. This is just a part of healing. Of course, when you get upset, you know, take a step back and go, this is a setup for my healing. Take a breath. Realize this doesn't have to be an upset. This can be a very productive healing situation. This is a really great thing to remember when you are in relationships and you're having agitation in that relationship. Relationships are mirrors. Everything is a mirror, but relationships specifically, especially the person you're dating, you're married to, they're your biggest mirror. So if you and or your partner, it's so great when your partner understands these concepts. Um, one of the things that Tyler and I really had going for us is that we ha had very, very conscious conversations. So often half the conversation was, I realize this is, a, this is a trigger for me. I realize this is an issue that I'm having come through me and you are mirroring it. It's amazing what that does to the situation. Because when you are agitated, but you can see why there's an agitation, you can see how you are responsible for it as much as maybe the other person, there's no longer agitation at the person. There's agitation at just the situation or what you have to deal with. And you can actually see yourselves as partners in something that needs healing. So you can still be like, I love you, I care about you, but this is bothering me, so can we look at it? And then the other person, if they're you know, a responsible, conscious individual say, you know, totally, if this is triggering you, like, how can we help? You know, I just, you know, like, I realize that if I have agitation, um, that's coming from me, and it can just, it can turn into a really healthy situation. So it's important to recognize this. Now, a lot of times the difficulty is the other person you are in a situation with may not be conscious of how that works, or may not be conscious of that aspect and so you need to step back I love the quote you do not have to show up for every argument you are invited to 
it's hugely important. I often fall short of that myself um, because it's easy to react. I grew up in a family that was very reactionary. We had a lot of fighting. I grew up getting, you know, in that state, very used to it. So it's really fighting against years and years and years of this natural reaction to fight back. So, you know, we're all learning. We're all experiencing this um, life um, at different levels of that being like a natural reaction. So I, you know, my best friend Mariel, her reaction is not usually anger. It's usually um, logic or or sadness. And when we were growing up, a lot of times those two ways of thinking really clashed because I tend to be like, Rrr! and she was like, eh, what the, eh? and a lot of times I would walk all over her and she would get upset and then I, it was just, it was bad. I adore her greatly and we've both grown out of that a lot. I mean, sometimes it gets triggered again, but we have really matured and really start to look at our relationships much more consciously. So that's really, really wonderful. Um, but I think the biggest thing is recognizing that if there's a trigger, there's a reason it's a trigger and that needs healing. You know, if you can focus on the healing versus the situation, it kind of dissolves the situation right in the moment and you can really step into why it's bothering you. And then second of all is that the universe is a mirror. Um, whatever's coming at you is an is a sign of what's going on with you internally. So that's really important as well. And it can really help your relationships if you are blaming the other person for what's agitating you. Because what might agitate you may not agitate someone else and vice versa. So I think that's really, really important. And something I'm definitely working on um, right now. Um, you know, sometimes it's hard to step back. You know, you feel like you don't have time or you don't have the effort. Um, you know, maybe jot it down. I got triggered by this. Why am I triggered by this? And sit down and, ha you know, have a little meditation sesh with yourself and think about it. And, you know, once you figure out what it is, you know, you step back, step into the feeling, ask your body, when was the first time I felt this? Really step into that feeling, acknowledge that that feeling was either, well, first acknowledge that that feeling was valid, there's a reason why you felt that way. And then really step into, is this true? Is this exact, is this like a true thought? And if it is, how can I see it differently? And you know, work it back that way. And that can be extremely healing. And you'll find that those things no longer trigger you anymore. Um, most times when we have arguments, it's, uh, it's an attack of our ego. Our ego's like, fuck this, no. And we have to step back and go, oh, it's not us, you know? Just because that person believes that about us doesn't mean it's true. Um, doesn't mean, you know, a lot of people think that what other people think about them is more valid than what's actually, you know, what they actually believe about themselves. Or maybe deep down you actually do feel that about yourself and it triggers that. That's a hard one. Um, that's a hard one to get around. But as soon as you see that about yourself, you can start healing that aspect of yourself. So that's really good as well. So... Um, I think it's important to start seeing upset as a set up. Um, I really love that. So I hope this was helpful. It's a journey I'm on. Like I said, I've grown up for years in an angry state. It's a lot of human scarring on my soul. And so it's something I'm working through. So if you guys have any questions or you need to get something off your chest and you just need to validate it to yourself, please comment it down below. I'm, I'd love to talk to all of you, or you can uh, message me on my Facebook page. Um, I love contacting uh, you guys and connecting with you guys, so if you need someone to really help you through something, or you just need to get something off your chest, I am there to listen. Um, I'm very busy, so I might not be able to get back to it right away, but I will try to get back to all of your messages. Um, but yeah, sometimes you just need someone to listen, or just to say, you're not crazy. I understand why you may feel that way, and then you can work through your feelings after that. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. My social media links are in the description below. Many blessings, and namaste.